Hi everyone, this is Ravi Shankar and today I am going to talk about how to configure firewall in RHEL 7. So in the last video which I have uploaded, we have learned how to configure basic firewall in RHEL 7. In today's session, we are going to talk about how to configure firewall in a rich manner. That means today we are going to talk about rich rules. So first let's see there is a four machine that is server 1, rail server 1, rail 7 station 1, rail 7 station 3 and rail 7 station 4. So rail 7 server 1 is my server machine where I will configure some services. So let me log in this machine and rail 7 station 1 this will be my client machine rail 7 station 3 will be also my client machine and rail 7 station 4 will be also my client machine so first see what is allowed in the firewall so the command will be firewall half and cmd half and happen list all it's asking prompting password of root user so i am supplying the password so now it will it is displaying output so what i am doing i am just switching as a root user now let's see See by default these services are allowed like DSCP, DSCP version 6 client, DNS, FTP and SSH is allowed and as well as these ports are also allowed. That means you can access these ports from the outside machines like DSCP service is provided, DNS service is provided by this machine, FTP service is provided by this machine, SSH is also provided by this machine. So anyone can do SSH, anyone can do FTP, anyone can resolve the name, anyone can obtain the IP address if DSCP service is configured on this machine. Right, so let's see whether we are able to communicate, we are able to resolve the name or not. So. I am doing just query, let us see whether DNS is able to resolve the name or not. So I am writing dig example.com, domain internet grouper, dig stands for domain internet grouper. See it is able to resolve, I am writing host station 2, I am hitting enter, see it is saying station2.example.com has this address. Let me verify from this machine as well. I am writing here, I am querying host station3.example.com or station4.example.com. DNS is working properly and what about from a station4 machine? I am uh, writing dig station 1 1 dot example dot com can you see it is replying that means everything is fine and if you wish you can execute host command as well I am writing host station Two dot example or station one dot example dot com. So DNS is replying because DNS service is allowed in the services list of firewall. So if I will remove the DNS from here, client will be not able to resolve the name name resolution query. So let's see. I am just going to remove the DNS service information from the firewall. So the command will be firewall cmd 
because it's a permanent configuration and I want to remove it permanently so I'm specifying hyphen hyphen permanent and uh, remove service DNS I need to reload the firewall because I have specified hyphen hyphen permanent now let's see the list see the DNS is not in the services list now let me try to resolve the query I am executing the same command C it's not replying let me try from another machine as well let me execute the same command again see it's not replying and from station 4 as well it's not replying because I have removed the DNS information from here so if I will add services that means it will allow this is what we have learned in previous firewall um, tutorial in, the, in, in today's session we are going to learn rich rule that means see with the help of basic firewall you can only manage basic things like an either you can allow service if you will allow the service that service will, will be allowed for everyone and if you are removing the service or if you are removing the port or if you are adding the port whatever you are doing that will affect on everyone so if you want to allow a service or a port for a specific IP address or for a specific subnet then reach rule came into picture so firewall D reach rule give administrators an expressive language in which to express custom firewall rules that that we have not covered uh, in the basic firewall D so what I am doing now now I am going to write the now I am going to add firewall sorry rich rule and see how it works so for this purpose so the syntax will be firewall cmd and I am taking help so I am writing half an H see the help is there so either you can write man half an key and firewall firewall that's it she displaying the firewall D rich language so this is a manual page of rich language only so if you wish you can use the main page as well so let me open the main page I am writing firewall D dot rich language say can you see with the rich language more complex firewall rules can be created in an easy to understand way the language will use keyword with values and will be an abstract representation of IP tables rules so see uh, in the, at the bottom see here is a rule how you will write the rule first will be rule then there will be source address destination address and after source or destination address you can specify your service, port, protocol, ICMP block, masquerade, forward port. So we will also talk about masquerade and forward port. And then if you wish you can log it or if you wish you if you wish for audit you can audit it or if you wish you can accept or reject or drop. And what will be the rule structure? See here is a here is a option examples and uh, while you are allowing a for particular network uh, either you are using IPv IPv4 or IPv6 then you need to specify their rule family and rule family will be IPv4 or IPv6 so if you are creating a rule for IP version 4 then you need to define IPv4 if you are creating rule for IPv6 then you need to define IPv6 next is uh, destination you can specify the destination address or so source address in this manner and at the bottom of this doc man page there is example see there is example 
enable new ipv4 and ipv6 connection for protocol ah so it will accept the connection for this protocol in the same manner there is a example allow new ipv4 and ipv6 connection for service ftp and log 1 per minute using audit so there is a rule service and name ftp log limit value 1 per minute and it will audit and it will accept the connection in the same manner there is example so we, we are going to discuss the rich rule now so what i am writing here now i am specifying firewall happen cmd happen happen list all see there is no any rich rule or if you wish to query for rich rule you can write firewall happen cmd happen happen query rich rule you can execute even query rich rule or you can write list rich rule see because there is no any rich rule that's why it's not displaying displaying any output so now let me create a rule i am writing permanent half an app and add rich rule and then i need to define the rule family so you need to write here single code and then rule family I am applying for IPv4, so I am writing IPv4. I am writing source address. Let's see what is the IP address of station 1 machine. IP address 10.1. So I am writing 192.168.10.1. I am writing service name DNS accept because I have a specified permanent so I need to reload I am reloading it now I am querying for rich rule see displaying there is a rich rule this so now the client 192.168.10.1 must be able to resolve the DNS related queries so let me show you in the list all as well see it's appearing here in the section of rich role now let me go to the station 1 machine and now let me resolve the query see it's able to resolve the query because I have explicitly specified resolve the query of DNS that's why it's able to resolve the query now let me try from another machine like a station 3 or a station 4 so it's not able to resolve the query in the same manner on a station 4 it's not able to resolve the query so if you wish to allow a particular network so you need to define that network so i am going to remove this rule so how you will remove so instead of add you need to write here remove so it will remove the rules so i am writing have an open reload now if you wish to allow suppose you have a different different network and you want to allow dns related query to be resolved for that network only so you can specify that network as well so how you will do that firewall cmd half an open permanent half an open add rich rule and then you need to specify here rule family if you are applying for ipv6 then you need to write ipv6 i am going to apply for ipv4 so i am writing ipv4 service name I am writing DNS and uh, source address one nine two one sixty eight ten is my network ten dot zero slash twenty four I am writing complete network and accept now let me reload
see it should appear in the list can you see see the dns is not allowed in the services list so dns query will be resolved only by this network see the scenario is like this we have only one network 10.0 network if there will be a different network as well then only 10.0 will be able to resolve the query related to dns so i will let you know uh, the things uh, how you will do how, how you will write the rules when you will, we will do the mass threading class so now let me try to resolve the query from a station 4 see it's able to resolve the query in the same manner station 3 it's able to resolve the query because i have a specified that's why it's able to resolve the query so it's better if you want to more control you instead of writing in the services list you can explicitly define for which network or for, for which host the service will be available so dns generally dns appears in the services list but in case of uh, other services you can explicitly define for a specific host or for a specific network with the help of reach rule you cannot do these things with the basic firewall cmd commands you need to explicitly define reach rules only then you will be able to uh, control your network traffic so i am going to remove that rule instead of remove i need to write here yeah yeah that's correct let me remove now firewall happen cmd list all it's appearing here there may be some mistake while removing okay okay i think i have removed the rule but i haven't specified the, i have not executed the command happen up and reload So let me see now. Let me try one more time. Half an append permanent, half an append remove reach rule. And I am just copying the reach, reach rule and pasting here. there is error ok reach rule now it's look fine See. now i need to reload the firewall firewall cmd happen upon list all see now it's not appearing so it's better to write dns in the services list so I am writing because the name resolution is required for all the clients so it's better to write in services instead of writing in reach rule but if you want to do that as well you can do you have option I am writing add permanent have an app and add service and DNS I am going to reload the rules. So now the client should be able to resolve the DNS related query. Host 3, it's working. Host 3, okay. Station 4, it's working. 5, so it's able to now resolve the query. Let me write a station 1, a station 2. So now DNS is able to resolve the query because we have add the DNS services in the services list. Now if you want to if you want to restrict a service for a particular host, you can do that as well. So let me let me show you 
first we will learn how to restrict all service for a particular host so for that purpose you need to create a rich rule i am writing firewall happen cmd happen upon permanent first let's see whether i am going to apply on client sorry station 4 let's see whether it's able to ping the, to the server machine or not so what is my server machine name server 1 ping server 1 so it's pinging and if i am trying to open firefox now let me try to access the web page let me write here server 1 See, it's able to retrieve the web page. See, and if I am trying to do FTP, see, it's able to retrieve the resource of FTP server. So. now what i am going to do now i am going to disable all the services for station 4 that means station 4 will be not able to contact with server 1 or whatever service is provided by server 1 that service will be not available only for station 4 so i am going to create a rich rule i am writing add rich rule rule family ipv4 source address i am uh, writing 192.168.10. dot let me see the ip address see the name is station 4 so the ip address should be 10.4 but let me check see the ip address is 10.4 and i am writing reject firewall cmd have an append reload now let me do list all now i am trying to ping to the server 1 machine see unknown host server 1 but if i am trying to station 1 it's not pinging because dns every service is denied so if you will try to ping 192.168.10.1 it will ping but if you will try to ping 10.254 which is my server ip address let's see what is ip address see the ip address of this machine is 192.168.10.254 so it it will not reply it's saying destination port unreachable but if you will try to ping a station 1 or a station 3 station 2 is not up station 3 station 4 it's pinging and if you will try to access the ftp or uh, or you can say http let's see it's not ever is it's displaying unable to connect because you have explicitly denied all the server service for this host see the cache information is there that's why it displaying let me remove the cache information and now let me try ftp server 1 or if you wish you can try via ip as well because we have denied all the services for a particular host so let's see this will not work but if i will remove it will work so now i am going to remove that rule so the rule was this instead of add i am just writing remove so it will remove this rule now firewall cmd happen happen reload now see 
rule is not there now if i will try to access it will be able to retrieve all the information see the ftp is accessible ftp is available if you will try to access the web server it's also available here so it's able to retrieve the web page as well next what i am going to let you know so we have learned how to deny uh, all the service for a particular host in the same manner if you wish to deny a particular service for a particular host you can do that as well so what i am going to do now i am going to deny ftp service for station 1 and station 3 so the comma the see let, first let's see whether the station 1 station 3 and station 4 see we, station 4 is able to retrieve the resource of server now let's try from station 3 and station 1 and see whether the machine is able to retrieve the resource or not see let me open the web browser now i am writing ftp in sorry server 1 see it's able to retrieve the resource of ftp server because because of ftp is there in the service list let me show you see ftp is there in the service list from the station 1 let's see now i am running ftp server 1 see it's able to retrieve the resource of ftp server ftp i am writing server 1 let me write http server 1 so it's able to retrieve the web page as well displaying the web page now let me try from station 3 http server 1 it's also able to retrieve the web page so now what i am going to do i am going to deny ftp service for uh, for uh, station 1 and station 3 so how you will deny so we need to create a reach rule i am writing firewall happen cmd happen happen permanent happen happen add reach rule i am writing rule family ipv4 source address i am writing 192.168 ten dot This machine IP address should be ten dot one. See the IP address is ten dot one. And what about this machine? IP address. This machine IP address is ten dot seven. So let me write ten dot seven as well. I'm writing ten dot one first. Ten dot one. and i am writing service name ftp i am writing reject now let's reload the firewall and now see the list see i have denied the ftp service for 192.168.10.1 host so let's see is machine is able to access the ftp resource or not so i am going to clear the cache information and now i am writing here ftp 
server 1. See, this, this, the resource is not available for this machine. Now, if I will try to access the same FTP server from this machine, let me remove the cache information first. Now, I am writing FTP server 1. See, it is able to retrieve the resource. Now, I am going to deny this machine. So, this machine's IP address is 10.7. So, I am going to, instead of writing 10.1, I am writing 10.7. And now, let me reload the firewall. See, this is appearing here. Now, <coughs> I am clearing the cache. And try to access now. Server 1. See, it's the FTP service is not available. But if you will try to access the web page, it must be accessible. Can you see? This is accessible. So, this is how you can deny or allow FTP service or any service for a particular host or for a particular network as well. So, now I am going to let you know how to deny a particular service for a particular network. So, let me first remove the rich rules. Um, instead of add, I am writing remove. And instead of 10.7, I am writing 10.1. Now I am going to reload it. Reload. Firewall, happen CMD, happen happen list all. Now we are going to deny FTP service for 10.0 network. So the command will be firewall, happen CMD, happen happen permanent happen up an add rich rule I am writing here rule family IPv4 source address I am writing 192.168.10.0 slash 24 that means complete network and service name FTP I am writing drop or you can write deny as well. So, uh, sorry, you can write reject or drop. Here you can write either reject or drop or accept as well. Because the service is FTP is allowed for everyone. So, I am writing either reject or drop. So, what what is the difference between reject and drop? The reject will reply an immediate message the server is not available or the um, it's denied for a particular host but in the case of drop it will server will never reply any message to the client computer so i am writing here reject so if if you are concerned about security it's better to write drop instead of reject i am going to reload the firewall and now let's query for rich rule. Sorry, list rich rule. If you wish, you can query rich rule as well, but you need to explicitly, explicitly define, uh, write the rule. See, the this is denied. 192.168.10.0 network is denied. Now let me try to access the FTP from station 2, station, sorry, station 1, station 3 and station 4 machine. Now, I am just clearing the recent history or you can say cache information and let me close the tabs. Now, I am writing FTP server 1. See, unable to connect. 
and if I am trying to access web page this should be available let me try from session 3 I am going to just clear the history and I am writing here FTP server 1 see the resource is not available but if you will write HTTP column server 1 see it is accessible because I have explicitly denied FTP service for, a, for this network that is why it is not able to retrieve the FTP resource I am writing server 1 so this is how you can add or remove or define rich rule for a particular host for a particular host particular service or if you wish you can define for a particular network as well so instead of writing this rule if you wish to write it for a temporary basis you can specify number of seconds let me show you one example instead of add I am removing this rule so I have specified remove now I am going to reload the firewall now let us see what is there in the firewall list so what I am going to do now I am going to create a rule so that all the clients or for a particular you can write for a particular client as well or for particular network or a for a particular network particular service you can define according to your requirement so what I am going to let you know firewall cmd happen upon list sorry happen upon add rich rule I am writing rule family IPv4 and source address I am uh, writing 192.168.10.0 slash 24 so and now I am writing drop so this rule what this rule will do this will deny all the services for this network and this rule be, will be there only for the runtime. whenever I will reload the service it will disappear so if you are uh, for the testing purpose or for the debugging purpose instead of writing permanent you can write half an upon timeout and I am writing 60 so what this command mean it, this rule will be applied only for 60 seconds after 60 seconds this rule will disappear from the list so for this particular I am I am writing 30 second see this rule is applied only for 30 seconds after 30 seconds this rule will disappear from the list automatically so now let us try to ping or do anything from the client's machine it will be not able to access any resource let me try to ping otherwise the time will, will pass so I am writing ping server 1 here see it is not able to ping I am trying to access the FTP resource is not able to retrieve let me try from another machine see it's it is able to retrieve that means 30 second time is passed let us see it is not there that is why the service is accessible so this is how you can add a rich rule how you uh, how you can remove the rich rule so in the next session we will talk about network address translation that is uh, in the network address translation we will learn mask reading and port forwarding in detail so this is for the day hope this video will be helpful for you thanks for watching my video thanks a lot